Hey guys, it's been a long time that I haven't posted on this channel. In this video I will show you how I recreated this scene from the anime Attack on Titan using Moho. This video is more a vlog than a tutorial, as I am not really going to teach you anything, but I'm rather going to show you the process that I followed to achieve this animation sequence. However, if you want to replicate it, you will need to be familiar with the following features from Moho, like basic bone rigging, point animation, uh, Vitruvian bones, reference layers and meshes. You can also download the project file through the link in the description. I first downloaded the key animation frames on the internet and used them as a base for the animation. There were only three frames available, so I duplicated one of them and flipped it to serve as a fourth frame to complete the cycle. Then I added them in the scene and grouped them as a switch layer. I then assigned each child in the timeline to get the animation timing. I usually work with styles and recommend you to do so. Whenever I start working on a new project, I always begin with creating the different styles that will be used in the file. Then I started modeling the character. In order to dive as soon as possible into the animation and see the different issues we might have to solve, I usually start with the basic shapes. In a previous video that I posted more than 100 years ago, I explained the layer structure that I usually follow. I separate each limb into different group layers, in which I have one mask for the drawing and one shade layer that is gonna be masked. As soon as I knew that I was going to use Vitruvian bones, I started to create them as well. Each arm was set into a Vitruvian group. Then I immediately started to animate the skeleton, following the switch layer storyboard created at the beginning. Once the bone animation was completed, I rigged the different vector layers to each bone. Drawing basic shapes at first allows you to easily duplicate an arm from one side to another. For the hair animation, since I wanted to save time, I just activated the bone dynamics on the hair bones. Then I moved on the character details. I really recommend taking your time in order to get the best possible result when modeling the character details. Something that I also recommend is to separate the different shapes as much as possible. Since we work with point animation, it would be way more difficult to move points if the shapes were attached to each other. It could even break the workflow, compelling us to redraw some body parts. Modeling the shades in a different layer is not always necessary, especially if the animation does not require them to be moving along the body parts they are covering. For the hair strands, I chose to separate them into different shapes to allow potential overlapping caused by the hair bones dynamics. Finally, it's time for the point animation. This part should be the final step of your process, as it's intended to accurately match the placement of your shape with the reference. If a layer is located too far from its reference, it means that the bone movement needs to be adjusted. For the face animation, in order to save time, I use the mesh so I can directly manipulate the different parts of the heads without having to navigate through the different component layers. Another advantage of this method is that you don't have to directly manipulate the points. It's very convenient if your shapes contains a lot of points. In that case, you will use the mesh points as handles. When the animation is done, all you need to do is look for a background and add some composition effects. I hope you enjoyed watching the process and that the concepts I got into in this video can be easily understood. I leave a link to the Moho file in the description so you can download it for free. Let me know in the comment section what kind of scene you would like to see next. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, click on the subscribe button and activate the bell to be notified when the next video will be published. Thank you for watching and have a great day.